Hello and welcome. I'm trichologist Lisa Ackberry and the host of Ask the Hair Doctor, which is held every Sunday from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. on iHeartRadio and WDI Studios. And this is Central Standard Time. So today I want to speak with you about something that was one on a, on was heard on one of my previous shows. It's about keratin treatments. And I had a special email from someone, and let's pull her email up or her comment up. And the comment was from Connie. And we were talking about keratin treatment, and Connie said that the question should also be if keratin treatment is healthy for our health. Now, this struck a chord with me because Connie is absolutely right. While I was giving information on how well keratin treatment works with the hair and the dangers of the strand, I did not address the possible dangers of your health. So we want to address that right now. Keratin treatments can cause problems based on some of the research that has been shown. So let's take a look at some of that research and let's talk about that for a moment. But before I do that, I'd like to talk about some of the positive things about keratin treatment and really why do we have, why do we get ter- ker- keratin treatments? What are some of the pros to it? We want to have straight hair, let's face it. Many ladies want straight hair. Now why do we want straight hair? Well, one reason, big reason, and I would say the number one reason is for manageability. We want to have hair that we can manage. You comb your hair if it's curly, you get the little stopping points where you go through kink, kink, kink all the way down the strand. We also want to have the look. The look. Straight hair is a very popular look right now. And the style. We want to be able to take our fingers through our hair, let it blow in the wind. We just want straight hair. Some of the styles can only be achieved by having straight hair. So really, what is this keratin all about? And why the concern? Why the concern? It's just straight hair. Hair is just dead keratinized cells. Why can't we just wear our hair straight? and wear the keratin treatment. So let's explore keratin before and after we get those treatments. Now, is keratin something we just kind of insert into our strand with a needle? (laughs) I thought that was a little funny, but I'm sure it's really not. But really, it's keratin, liquid keratin going right into our hair. How is that keratin so important? Well, keratin itself is a part of what hair is mostly composed of. Many of you by now have heard that. Keratin is found in the nails, in the skin. It's found with It's the protein that actually forms hair. When the hair is developed, as it's going through the follicle, and it's uh, manifesting into a strand or before it emerges from the mouth of the follicle, it's filled with keratin. It's becoming keratinized. So filled with these keratin protein cells. And then it becomes a solid form called hair. Now, keratin. What is going on with the keratin treatment? What are the health risks of keratin hair treatments? What are some of the side effects? Well, keratin hair treatment is pretty popular. Why? We mentioned earlier because it really smooths the hair out. It gives it defrizzing because a lot of women are really looking to get rid of the frizz. We, we want to think about that. So it's a lot of buzz right now about keratin. And actually, keratin treatments have been around for a little while. But many salons are really, ha- they have a great business with this particular treatment. They built a great business. And they're having some of the um, their clients come in weekly for these treatments. Unfortunately, there are now some health risks, some side effects associated with this kind of treatment. And a lot of this is still unknown to a lot of the clients that go into the salons to have these keratin treatment. So it's really important that you understand the whole tr- whole part of this. What's the 
What's the whole picture uh, before you get the keratin treatment so you can understand whether this is something that you want to do with your hair and scalp? And so, or have your body exposed to it for that matter. So I thank Connie for bringing this to my attention because many times I will stay very focused on what your question is, but let's, this is what the struggles that women have, and I particularly black women have with, but I just love this little picture that we see here, but particularly black women that deal with their hair. So before keratin treatment and after keratin treatment, well, this is actually an image of someone who's had keratin treatments, and this treatment is not only just before, but this is a keratin treatment before and after. Even when you look in this area, she's already had one keratin treatment. And it's important to understand that even though she was trying to defrizz de her hair, but she also caused a little bit of heat damage that's developing here, and that's going to be crucial. But let's get down to what's really happening with keratin treatment. Keratin, as I said, is the protein that exists naturally in our hair. The treatment is initially done and it's initiated by our stylus. And the stylus, here's the danger part. What is mixed with keratin? It's just like when we discovered Rogaine and some of the others. What was mixed with Rogaine? Which Rogaine, what is Rogaine? It's minoxidil. And what is mixed with that key most active ingredient in minoxidil, alcohol. So then we found that it was really drying to the hair and scalp of folks with dry hair. You just can't mix the alcohol with it. Well, here's the deal with keratin. Keratin is mixed with formaldehyde. It's really a strong preservative, but it it basically is been found to be unhealthy. Now, when you put the mix the formaldehyde with the keratin, it basically fills in those little gaps of the hair shaft, so it actually seals that actual cuticle down flat when that extremely hot flat iron is applied to it. Now, let's put a pause there. We speak of the extremely hot flat iron, and that's one of the things that I dealt with in my last session, speaking about keratin treatments. Keratin treatments require an extremely amount of heat to in order to flatten the cuticle. You literally burn the cuticle into the actual cortex, and what happens? It burns part of the cuticle away, goes right into the cortex, and the hair is flattened. This is why you begin to see these kind of straight and even almost frizzier looks after you re-wet your hair. Come back and do it again, the hair straightens out. But then you end up with some of these other problems that I'm going to show you a little bit later. So besides the fact that it burns the hair, then it's mixed with this formaldehyde. Now here's the deal that's got Connie and others like her most worried and concerned. At that high temperature, that liquid formaldehyde converts into a gas vapor. Now this vapor, yeah, formaldehyde gas, it's really swirling around your head. It's in like a cloud around your head. And I know it sounds a little bit outrageous, but it, it's really, it really, and some of people say that this should be illegal, but I mean, it really has been um, approved. So people are now using it. Whether inhaled or absorbed in the skin, formaldehyde is kind of is linked to a lot of health problems, including skin irritations, irritations of the eyes, the nose, and even the lungs. And some people have been known to feel really dizzy after just a short-term exposure to it and begin to have what we call asthmatic-like symptoms. Um, so we have to really think about that. I mean, it can go on and on. And many, many doctors, medical doctors have of dermatology, they have linked this to other diseases, uh, leukemia and some other problems. So this is really important because what happens, you don't just get exposed to this once because of those of you who've had keratin treatments know that with keratin treatments, you generally go into the salon for about eight to 12 weeks and this will um, not only help to get the keratin to 
go into the hair and increase the straightening time, which is that positive. We want straight, manageable hair. We want the look. We want the style. But it also exposes you to that formaldehyde mixture 8 to 12 times. Now, I guess some of you say, well, um, couldn't we just make, do the keratin without the formaldehyde? Here's the problem. Many folks are not happy with that keratin treatment without that formaldehyde mixture, so they don't get the desired results. Remember, what were we trying to do? Why are we doing the keratin treatment? To have straight hair, manageability, the look, the style. So that's when we get into a problem with that. Oh, okay, should I just do the keratin treatment because I want the look? Hmm, maybe it won't hurt me. Well, here's the deal. The uh, FDA, a few years ago, really several years ago, uh, they they um, looked at some claims that were beginning to uh, offer um, the claims that this was causing problems. So they looked at a lot of salons and they were beginning to, like I said, offer the no formaldehyde or the low formaldehyde treatments. And the problem was a problem with the results. And that's where there were many, many reasons why people continue to use the, the keratin um, treatments with the formaldehyde. Well, even with the folks that claim, this is what the FDA found, and even when the uh, OSHA, which is the um, uh, OSHA's Occupational Safety and Health Administration, what they found is that there were still high levels of these so-called formaldehyde-free keratin treatments. Hmm. So this is what you have to be careful with. Think about it when you're going into salons. A stylist, a cosmetologist is trying to give you these results, these cosmetic results. Two things you want to look at. You want to look at the health of your hair and scalp, and then you want to look at the health of your body. So, honestly, you really need to avoid any formaldehyde type treatments. If the keratin treatment causes that problem, then you need to avoid it. Now, I have suggestions, as you know, on my website. Listen, I can show you some of the things that I would offer for a keratin treatment. Okay, so as we go to my website, let's take a look at some of the options that you will have relating to keratin treatments. Now, I've got, so we're on my page, my front page, and so let's take a look. Okay, let's get this one out of here. All right, so let's take a look at our online store. One of the things that I offer, and it's really not a keratin treatment, I just want to give offer you a way to look at your hair and say, okay, what's the best thing that I could use to help with my straightening of my hair? Because, I mean, let's face it, that's the desired results. So let's go on our page. I have a product called Cool Down. Cool Down, when I develop hair products, I recommend, and this, this, this blog is definitely not about selling my product. I just want to FYI that for you. But what I want do not want to do is tell you don't use something and don't give you an option. Basically the things that cool down will do. One, it's a natural product. Two, it's going to allow you to get the results. Now what are our results? Let's go back. We're getting these treatments because we want it to have straight hair because we want it manageability. We wanted the look. Now, the way to do that is to flatten the cuticle. Your desired result is to flatten the cuticle to the point where, one, you have a nice, slick style, straight style, and two, you have a healthy style that will protect, you want to protect your hair from the heated tools because, one, the, you want to make sure you don't have those formaldehyde solutions that will cause you to become sick, ill. Then, too, you want to make sure that you are controlling the temperature of your the actual heated tool so that you won't burn your hair. So here we have it, and there it is. So I'm recommending cool down. My cool down will give you an opportunity to have a straighter head of hair, but it will not cause any problems with burning your hair and it's nothing in it that can be harmful to your body so here's my link on my cool down 
So let's get that link in here. And I'm going to get that for you right here. And that way you will know exactly what you need to get the cool down solution. So what are we talking about at the end of the day? We're talking about ways to avoid formaldehyde solutions as it relates to keratin or straightening our hair. And honestly, it's really not even easy to avoid formaldehyde solutions. I mean, we could get it all into it because a lot of this you find in a lot of your household cleaners, clothings, other things, towels, sheets, curtains. I mean, it's everywhere and it's used all the time. But I mean, let's face it. We want to think about ways if we're going to straighten our hair, defrizz our hair, get that nice smooth look, we've got to find a safe way to do it. And some of the things that we find, if we look at, you see, notice the straightening there beginning to happen. Beautiful styles, the results here, desired results, we don't want those results because those are things that cause our hair. Go from kinky to straight, are we doing it and are we doing it safely? That's what's important. The bottom line at this point, there is no effective salon performed keratinized treatment that is really considered safe according to most doctors, uh, dermatologists, or most professionals who are studying this. So if you have been receiving keratin treatments, it's time to really get serious and consider stopping them. And that's just me, your hair doctor, giving you that advice. As an alternative, use products, as I said before, like my cool down that will give you an opportunity to have a safe way. And as I said, I will put my link at the bottom of this answer, this this page so that you will be able to click on that link and be able to go right to it. So at the end of the day, what are we trying to do? We're trying to have, have healthy hair. We're trying to have this, I'm going to put this right under here, without, there we go, there's the link. And we're trying to do this without damaging our hair. So my cool down comes in a nice bottle. And we're going to put that right on this link right here. You can click on this link. And again, I will put this at the bottom of this page. And you will be able to have, there we go. And then you'll be able to have it. So here, there it is. So I'm Lisa Ackberry. And you know what? I'm your hair doctor. Here's my take on keratin treatments and how to get hair straight hair without having this before the keratin, after the keratin, then what happens after the keratin? We want our kinky hair to go from kinky to straight temporarily, not permanent, not have heat damage, and not be unhealthy. So I'm trichologist Lisa Ackberry, your hair doctor, and here's another moment with me. Tune in really soon as you tune in to another one of my shows, Ask the Hair Doctor, and as I said, my show is each and every Sunday from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. right here at iHeartRadio and in the WDI studios. And I'm always replaying my show and blogging. So be sure to send me your questions and I'll be happy to answer them. Have a wonderful blessed morning, evening, or afternoon. To God be the glory in Jesus. <laughs>